What are you gonna order me for? Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Celeste. Yo, Sayori. <laughs> Yo, Yo, what's poppin'? <laughs> God. Sigh intensifies. Literally. Yo, Sayori, looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still, I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood, but I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> Why, that, all of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted you to look at it. Ah. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets his contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Ah, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry, so that only leaves one option. What? I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. I just called this bitch out. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. <laughs> I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in her book. As always. <laughs> I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Celeste to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... Did I... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. <laughs> <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad. Now I have to accept the revolution. <laughs> the revolution! Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. Ah, fucking that's her. <gasps> After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit then. Ah! Who what? slapped her? I clicked past that dialogue way too fast. Kia! <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and it tumbles onto the desk. Ow, what was, eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. Pause. I was just going to give it to you anyway, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. I was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Pod. Are you going to topple all of my things? My cat is, like, tripping. <laughs> Behind okay. the computer. Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. <laughs> I wish the cookie would slap me in the face and land on my desk right now. Oops. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> the same, though. Yes. Cookies rain from above. But didn't have calories. <laughs> no? No? Fuck. <laughs> Hod, Hod, you're gonna fall. You get there, my bud? dude. He got up there. Okay, he made it up. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? 
Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Hot. Sarah let, gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Nat out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you just seriously just do that? <laughs> oh my god. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. So Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything out of her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she has a... Ah, ha, ha, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah! Oh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You wouldn't have heard the bell ring, or you would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay, that sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Celeste. <laughs> Monica Seals smiles eyes. sweetly. Ah, oh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole re a whole lot recently. Didn't you say she just fucking start? Anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up telling her. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. <coughs> Yuri's back into her oh, book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. I didn't say anything. Hey, Yuri. Uh, mm. <laughs> ah, suddenly I noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been Thin reading ice. together. She's cheating on me with a book. Thin ice. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, uh, no, I was just kind of waiting for you. If that's the case, well, we don't go, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Bitch, yes. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Man, I really want tea now. <laughs> Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I fuck. <laughs> That's not tea. But close enough, right? Oh, God. When it gets room temperature, you can taste less of the mango. Oof. This is totally just juice. Okay, but like, aesthetically, I don't even know if you can see this, but this is, I have a Charmander on the glass. Like, it's frosted. it's etched on there. Like a frosted. Yeah. You frosted Charmander. <laughs> and there's orange glass. drink in the cup. Drink. I'm an adult, leave me alone. <laughs> I do what I want. But it's orange! And Charmander's orange. So, like... You also have a blue straw. It's it, yes. I really wanted water, actually. Yes, I opened this one. Shut up. Huh? Yes, I opened this one. Shut up. She beat me into opening my own water bottle. After I literally... Gave her a water bottle to take with her, and she was like, no, I have one. I do. I don't know where it is, though. I put it down, and then I couldn't find it. 
I did a you. Come prepared. <laughs> I've been attacked. Uh huh. I did a you. <laughs> I put something down and could not find it again. It happens more often than I would like to admit. <clears throat> uh huh. Uh, I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Other ones are there. Yuri holds me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I fried mine. <laughs> yep, with milk. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to steam milk and it fucked it up. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk Fart and then we'll go milk. get some water. She <laughs> walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have she the water pitcher? All legs. Why do you have to hold it? Aren't there like 50 desks next to her? But like, for real though, yeah. Oh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? Not the closet! Miranda. I'm sorry! <laughs> the ice is getting thinner. <laughs> It's getting thinner. <laughs> uh, we're just, Yuri was going to make some tea, so suddenly I realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a little bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's what I was thinking. That's, how is Monica, it your business, please mind bitch? your own business for once. Why is it your business? Bitch? Oof. Or do you want to tell me that there's something wrong with helping involve Celeste in club activities. Uh -huh. <laughs> My mouth gapes. Snake. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna then control Then let's go, these Celeste. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Thin ice. Thin ice. Oh, just wait. I'm gonna smack. Uh, uh, something in here I already know is just gonna make me just plummet right through that ice. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sink and sink fast. Ah, uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just. Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's Animal. wrong with me? <laughs> no, Yuri, I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Celeste, how could it, how come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them anyway. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. attacked right now by a video game and my niece a child <laughs> ah no no wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that why would i hate you i can't hate with someone for having emotions what kind of friend would do that friend you say ah uh, oh is it roast seru night again ever fucking dently man <laughs> like ah oh. ah um yuri lifts her head Celeste, I really like being friends with you. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is happening too much today. <laughs> this is happening too much. Oh, God. What did you say? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thanks, Yuri. I like Wonder. being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. No shit. <laughs> but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah, shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we and return to the classroom. Return to the Celeste, classroom. would you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. No! Wrong! Wrong! Oolong is a white tea, and you brew that at 157. Fight me. Why do you know this by heart? Because I'm a tea whore. Do you not see the entire tea caddy downstairs that I have? It's like fucking filled with the shit. 
I mean, I just used the Keurig, so I can't say anything. Okay, but since I fried my kettle that actually was temperature controlled, that's what I've been doing, and it makes me really sick. There's actually some teas I refuse to even make with Keurig water because it brews it too, to too hot, and it singes the ingredients, and it makes it bitter. I can't do it. Can't do it. See that? You would bitter the shit out of oolong tea at 200 degrees. <laughs> you bitch. You I'm bitch. I'm, I'm, I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed. <laughs> now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? No, you fucking don't! <laughs> of course, I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything, but I am! <laughs> uh huh, in that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Perhaps I will. No. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. I'm um, upscales me, Yuri. This is burnt. <laughs> to my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out that it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Celeste. It's very endearing. That's, Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Celeste, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Mm -hmm. Eh, why is that? It's just a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. <laughs> <laughs> I just put two and two together. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah! Is that so? I wonder why that is. <laughs> it's most likely because my... Uh, I didn't do it. it. The game did it to itself. You did it first. I did not. You did it first. <laughs> you did it first. <laughs> oh, oh my. Here we go. Your posture, right? <laughs> Aw, <laughs> oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Oh, yes. yeah, that's totally it. Yep, totally. It's totally just my shit posture. Mm -hmm. I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. <laughs> Oblivious. Oblivious. <laughs> I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> I take it since we'll go with the tea. And Yuri and I can sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each one holding half the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. <laughs> Penguins. <laughs> I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Oh my god, you're touching me! <laughs> Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost... It's almost more that I can handle. What? Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Sure, she hasn't. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume that a wor the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's, that's okay, I won't take any... Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> Look it's at her! Oh, this one's animated. It's pretty. That's cute. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any, any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate 
and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural, but that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. <laughs> did, did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Celeste? Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's, well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? Right. Right. But. I mean, not really in this kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. Then you don't need to stop or anything. I see the situation has gotten really tense. Oh. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest is rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. Well, I'd be concerned if it wasn't. Exactly, I'd be a little concerned if Are she you wasn't breathing. breathing. I raise my arm. Ah. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips. It's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Abrupt! <laughs> okay, everyone! Wah! Ah! Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems! That's the water. <laughs> I was so expecting you to chug that. Ugh. Celeste, you can help Yuri put away the sea stuff. The sea stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. <clears throat> okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without... Good night. Night, night. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I'm gonna not. <laughs> I get the feeling that this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Oh god, it gets worse. <laughs> Are you gonna oh, read from first, Miranda? Lord have mercy. Who first? Uh, Monica. Hi again, Celeste. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh -huh. I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> you'll never know. I want to share want to share what you wrote for today. Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Fucking maybe. Maybe. Mm. Maybe because she's been, the same been, fucking person. Been spot. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna not even say that. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Venus flytrap. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know why, but oh, my my you beat it to me. <laughs> oh my. Or beat me to it. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Miranda. <laughs> I can't. The second Jeremy leaves the room. <laughs> Whatever. The second Jeremy comes back. Venus I can't down. words. And Venus she... she, 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 she <laughs> fuck. <gasps> oh, I didn't hear it, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> That's fair. It was like a slight inside joke, kind of, from the car ride earlier. Oh, that was such a good one. Oh, man. Oh, I think her poems are the most romantic. Oh, Lord. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that, too. Or when she's talking about literature. It's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Uh -huh. <laughs> eh? You completely misunderstood. Ah, uh -huh. calm down. I'm kidding. The 
Besides, I'm pretty sure she already has a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyway. It's me! All of High my school me. boyfriends. Uh, me, currently. Do you have a girlfriend? So? <gasps> you can't have both! Well, I guess you can't it's have both. It's a fictional <laughs> one, Miranda. Fair. The girlfriend is real, the others are not. That's fair. It's There's both. a difference. Besides, she has her own as well. <laughs> it's fair. She's cheating on me with fictional boyfriends as well. It's totally fine. Oh, no, she's got the true girlfriends. Oh, lord. Monica kind of whispers the last part to me. It's just a hunch, but, well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me! The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, RGB. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, waveforms, speaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. And like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. She got some shit going on, man. <laughs> like, big oof. Hmm, it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> God. God. I guess it's just the way that I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I never really... <laughs> Vinyl on a pizza crust. Never thought I'd hear that sentence. For real, though. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper, choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what this is about, though. <laughs> sometimes it's asking, sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every I don't even know what that says because I fucking clicked it on accident. Anyway, here's a Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. And when that happens, don't forget to save your game. Save. I was showing you where the save button was. Yeah, but like, she just, she just fourth wall broke so fucking hard. Uh-huh. We're gonna overwrite that, I guess. Yeah. Because that was the last time I ever opened the game. Oh my god. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You'll never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? <laughs> <laughs> what am I even talking about? I think you were possessed momentarily. 